Okay guys, so let's break down that lick. And to start with, let's put us in the right position. And we're in the key of B flat blues here, okay? So B flat blues, here's a B flat. And this will give me my pentatonic shape four in major. Which is kind of where I start. It also gives me my pentatonic shape three. In minor, they're the two shapes that we're kind of rolling on top of each other. Okay, so that's a really important part of understanding what notes we're using here. And the opening lick is this. Okay, so what we're doing is quite simply moving into that major pentatonic from 10th fret to 12th fret, 11th fret, and then bending up the 13th fret with this, this very bouncy, like that. So you up a tone. Let it drop a little bit to get the bounce, and then back up a tone. One, two, like that, nice bounce. Okay, now, a big part of Warren Haynes and his technique, or, or his style, is literally space, is creating very, very vocalized lines, and then leaving them to be, to breathe as it were. So this is a nice vocal line, and then we're just going three, Four, you know, big gap before going. And this is a nice little movement. This is actually starting on the minor. Okay, so that's 11 to 13. And then jumping to the 13th fret B string, which is back in the major. Up, down, without actually hearing the kind of coming down part. And then hammering on from 11 to 13. And then a nice sweet bit of vibrato. And notice that on that very last note, if I do this properly, I just pull back a little bit with the plectrum. I don't quite give it its all, because I just want a little slightly sweeter tone there, okay? So that's the second lick. The third lick is then this. Nice and simple, we're just hammering on. Okay, from major to minor. And then into this nice kind of root note, which is obviously a good place to be ending things on. So that's 11, hammer on to 12, and then back to your root note, okay? Okay, and then followed by the last lick, which is a bit more aggressive. Again, back to the root note. And here, this is all minor pentatonic, so this is shape three. minor and we're going to bend this first one up a tone and then pull off down to this uh, 14th fret and then there's your b flat root note okay one more time tone don't hear it come down again so you've got to stop it so i just put my plectrum on the string to stop the sound pull off 14th fret and then again, a nice sweet sound on the root note. So we've got four licks, I'm going to go through them again, but just kind of notice the space in between. So here's the count. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three. And then we're going to go... So there's nice big gaps, these are bite-sized chunks. Um, and as far as actually the sound of Warren Haynes, this is, this is it, this is the big part of it. These, these kind of very fluid sounding pentatonic lines, um, which are very, very vocal. You could sing every single part of that as a singer. And therefore, you know, that's why there's this space in between, like as if, imagine a singer was singing and then had to stop to take a breath. This is kind of like the same idea, but on the guitar, okay? so. As far as getting together that kind of style, that kind of tone, you know, get your humbuckers out, get your Les Paul, plug into a nice big old Marshall for the sustain. But, you know, as well as that, you've got to think in bite-sized chunks. Don't just kind of... <laughs> and whatever. Um, you know, just think little bits. So here's a bit. Yes. Another one. And that bounce is always there. 